you look for the opportunity to have it by four, I'll list the PRC of this allow the thing to release close to you. Amen. Welcome back, Lee family. The wait is over. The wait is over. The wait is over. We've been waiting for this for a week and a half. These little Debbie ice cream thing came out, but I finally got my hands on them. I had to go to three different Walmarts. I keep hearing mixed reviews. People be like, they good one second, and the next second, they taste like cat pee. So I'm really like toss up in the air. I don't know what to expect. This is my first time. I, I swear I don't know what to expect. But if you don't know what these are, these are Little Debbie ice cream cakes. I said ice cream cakes. These are Little, <laughs> these are little Debbie ice creams. They're supposed to mimic the flavor of the actual uh, cakes that we used to eat growing up. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody eat these anymore. I don't, Shoot. at least. You get kids. Yeah, you get yeah. I guess as a kid, I guess kids are still kids. Yeah. As a kid, I used to eat these all the time. No, Debbie ain't never going out of style. <laughs> Apparently, it's supposed to taste just like the cakes. So our mission today is to see how close they got to the flavor of the cakes, and is the ice cream actually good? So we judging on those two categories. You excited? Yes. Well, I'm hoping that the oatmeal cream pies will be the best taste and the best batch up, like actually tastes like it. But I have a feeling that the zebras are going to be the most on point for some reason. What you think? I used to eat OCPs almost every day growing up. And the reason I call them OCPs, before y'all start asking in the comments, I went to church camp and we used to smuggle snacks. And instead of saying oatmeal cream pies, because that'd be too obvious, we used to say, let me get an OCP. So I think OCPs is probably like, I think it'll be the easiest to hit as far as flavor because it's just cream, right? I don't know. I think it'll be really hard. I got a feeling this is about to be vanilla ice cream with a little bit of cream in it. I think the honey buns is going to be the best one. That's my personal. Let's see. The only one we don't have a corresponding thing to is the Nutty Buddies because y'all sold out all Nutty Buddies. Well, there's a lot of peanut butter lovers out there. But I guess I got this up in my hand, so I guess we're gonna try this first. Okay. So let's kind of move all of this stuff to the side. I feel like oatmeal cream fries are always the most nostalgic. I feel like it's gonna be the easiest to hit as far as flavor profile. I feel like it can miss because it can get really plain. I feel like it's, it's only right vanilla. that we start with the actual pie first. Okay. We're gonna start with the cakes first and then move on to ice cream. That way we have like a base note. They got a hit. What the hell? Little Debbie? Little Debbie got this locked down like I'm trying to commit a bank robbery. Little kids, mm -hmm. this is still Little Debbie back in the day. You can steal this. Everybody gonna hear you trying to break into this box. I mean, just to familiarize myself with the OTP. I'm gonna I'm act like for video purposes that we didn't just have a box of these and I was like a week ago. So I'm gonna act like I haven't had this since I was a kid. I feel like they got bigger, no? It's the same size they were a week ago. It's like the size of my whole palm. I don't know. Strange. Okay. Beep. You can't never beat that. That is delicious. You know how some things don't taste the same like it did when you was a kid? That's not one of them. That is delicious. I don't know how they do it. Yeah, me either. I'm not gonna be open. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm gonna I'm I'm hurt myself. All right, here we go. Made with Hudson Veal's ice cream. All right, Hudson Veal. Oh, it's a little, it's a little melted because it's messed it out. But I'm sorry, it's open. You, you do? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. It looks, just from looks, it don't got no. No uh bits in it or no like actual chunks. It looks like vanilla ice cream, like I expected it to be. Oh no, I lied. When you get deeper into it, it got like some little chunks of oatmeal cream pie. Mm. Nice little healthy spoonful. Make sure you get a chunk in there too. Okay. Mm. Right. Oh, so it looks like it's pretty chunky. Like just vanilla ice cream with bits. <laughs> yeah, you're not following nobody. Yeah, they just took a carton of vanilla ice cream, crushed up some oatmeal cream pies, and threw it into a carton and called it oatmeal cream pie ice cream. The oatmeal. It's a regular. It, it tastes a lot more oatmeal-y than cream pie. Like I feel like the bits are a lot more oatmeal than. The yeah, that's ice cream by itself. It literally tastes like vanilla ice cream. 
with a little bit more sugar though. It's sweet as hell. Yeah, I'm over that that's one. That's why I got cavities now. Yeah, that's too sweet. I'm over that one. Flavor wise, I'm gonna give it a three out of ten. Uh, closeness to cake, I'm gonna give it a two. A two. Flavor, I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> that's how I agree with you. On both. Yeah. That's why I'm putting it at the flavor out of two. That would be kind of that's too low. It's still good. Yeah, I'm gonna go three because it just tastes like a vanilla ice cream. All right, that's right, one down. Why am I hurt already? <laughs> I think it's because of so much, how much sugar it is. You feel heavy? After one? Yeah. After one, you feel heavy? <laughs> we don't really eat like this. That's so a little strange. Kind of that's, that's really strange. I like feel really heavy right now. Like your stomach hurt? Like it's high. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna move on to Swiss rolls. So we're gonna start with the actual cake itself. We gotta move a little fast because I want all the ice creams to melt by the time it gets on. Yeah, they are melting pretty fast. Yeah. Oh wow, that's soup. Yeah, they melting fast. Oh wow, that's soup. Okay. You know, Swiss rolls come in a pack of two. So we can just get it. I've never been a huge fan of these. Me either. This is gonna be the hardest one to hit because this chocolate don't taste like that chocolate on no other product. Yeah. It's like their own secret formula of chocolate. It's something that somebody made in an easy bake oven. Yeah. I feel like it's, if this is just chocolate ice cream, then they're gonna mess with me. It gotta be very specific. Oh, there's little baby chocolate. That's some good chocolate ice cream, though. <gasps> That's fire. They use that same chocolate. They but use the same chocolate. It tastes. It this tastes don't taste like regular. This don't taste like regular chocolate ice cream to me. But it, the ice cream tastes better than a snack. I'm giving the flavor of the ice cream a nine out of ten. Mm -hmm. For the match, do it taste like the snack? I'm gonna give it a four out of ten. I'm gonna go seven out of ten on flavor. I'm not a huge fan of chocolate ice cream, but this is a great chocolate ice cream. So I'm gonna go seven out of ten. I'm gonna go a six out of ten on the matching. Because if you gave me this, I would be like, oh, this kind of tastes like them little Debbie cakes I had when I was little. <laughs> I should go a little lower. All right, I'm going to go four. You would not say that. Right, you wouldn't even remember these little Debbie cakes if the trail wasn't out. All right, I'm going to go four. I'm going to go four. Because, <laughs> I mean. Say, oh, look at them. <laughs> no, I know. It do. Only because you just tasted it. I, it's the chunks that's in it. But I didn't get that benefit of the doubt to the oat milk cream box. So you're right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's move on to the next before they all get to before we got chocolate soup. Where you want to go? Honey. Uh, honey bun. But it it's is like soup. falling apart, guys. Oh. Look at the side over here. You see that side action? Oh. We only going to do one? Yeah. It's, it's already too much sugar for me. I might be up all night. God. Warm this whole up. I've never liked these kind of honey buns. I was always a big takers kind of person. I was always a big takers kind of person. These are... Both of them. This one's fire. Yeah. Perfect. I think it's going to be the best ice cream, but I don't like the cake itself. Ooh, is that a chunk? Yeah, it's a big chunk of something. Alright. It looked more like a cinnamon douche or a douche de douche. Nice Are those pecans? It's like big chunks of pecans in, in there. Why would they put pecan in a honey? You think that's pecan? That tastes like a, a pecan nut. Pecan? Why they, pecan? Why would they put a pecan inside of a, a honey bun ice cream? Are you sure? Let me suck it off. Honey bun got pecans in it? I think it's the honey bun, but because it's frozen, it made it hard. Look. That tastes like a pecan to me. It's a honey bun. Oh yeah, ain't no pecans on the when you ingredients like, list. When you like suck it, it's like because the honey bun frozen, so it makes like hard little bits. That's I'm fire, go. and it's giving me very like coffee like. That's what it tastes like. With a donut. Yeah, it tastes like, like and coffee. And the dip it. Oh. It tastes like a, a coffee, like an espresso kind of ice cream. I'm gonna go flavor wise. I'm gonna go a five out of ten. Ten out of ten for me. A ten. I'm a coffee lover. 
Why are your eyes light up when you say <laughs> Because I want some coffee right now that I think about it. What time is it? <laughs> <laughs> is it appropriate to have coffee right now? No. No, it is not. I'm going to go 5 out of 10 on flavor. As far as it hitting the, the cake, I'm going to go a 2 out of 10. I don't think it hit the cake at all. You know honey buns get that waxy taste on the top of your, like the roof of your mouth. There ain't no way you can make no ice cream waxy though. I added, I didn't think it was a way that you can make honey buns waxy, but they sure damn did it. I would I would think that's like a pecan espresso kind of ice cream. I wouldn't. Fire. It's good. Ten out of ten on the flavor. Seven out of ten on the match of the honey bun. It's the one y'all want. Pick this up at the store. Not tomorrow. Not yesterday. Right. And I guess say. Right now. I'm sitting on the couch. You're not doing anything anyhow. Get up. Yeah, you go you get your honey bun. You are a little warm. That might be a hay fever speaking. Because 7 out of 10 is crazy. <laughs> That's hay fever. 7 out of 10 is crazy. Last, last but not least. <laughs> and we're almost done. Last but not least. I feel like a cakes. water balloon. <laughs> <laughs> no, we shake, we shake it. Just. I did it back to this form, so one side of the balloon looked big and the other one. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that. That's, That's what you feel like right now? Yes. Here's zebra cakes. I do not remember zebra cakes looking like this. Weren't they like flat and square? Oh, this say zebra cake rolls. When I was a kid, they were square. Yeah, they were square. Okay, what put that Were, were they square? Yes. I know I ain't lying. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. Get that shit out of here. That is trash. I'm confused. You're confused. I'm fucking confused, bro. Ah. Oh, that I guess I wasn't in zebra. Oh, yes, that, that crap tastes like, you know that that frosting that be on certain cake? That just tastes like very. Yeah, that's bad. You know? All right, that's what well, ice cream. I'm scared. It should just be some vanilla with a little bit yeah, of chocolate I think stripes. Just, yeah, I think it's just going to be chocolate and vanilla ice cream. I think the ice cream can't. I don't can't, do no chunks, though. The ice cream can't do no worse. Like none. That's the most basic one out of all of them. Like nothing at all. That's the most basic one. You know what this tastes like? You know that big tub of ice cream that you get for, at the party? And it'd be like Neapolitan flavored. Yes. Or, or the ones that be in a little cups with the wooden spoons. That's what this tastes like. I was going to say the one that you get at the buffet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you mess around and overdo it and it starts melting all down your hand. And you run back to your mama. And now she wrapping your hand and the end of the cone with napkins so that and, it up. And now you got a pocket of M&M's. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Why you got a pocket of M&M's? Why you got a pocket because, of M&M's? Because the ice cream will melt and you wouldn't be able to enjoy it. So you would go up to the snack bar and put a pocket of, and put a bunch of M&M's in your pocket and then leave and then eat the M&M's while you in a car. Okay, okay, okay. Because you still okay, got okay. a, I think you still got a yeah, sweet yeah, too. Yeah. I said, yeah, I used to keep some snacks. I used to keep some snacks in my pocket. I did. I did, but I used to wrap them in a napkin, though, once I got to the table. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. in the buffet is all you can eat, so you try to get everything you can. I'm going flavor. Flavor of, oh, look, I'm going to flavor of the cake. Oh, the flavor of the cake is a zero. But I'm going flavor on this, a two. And I'm, then for yeah. closeness of, of the cake, I actually, I'm actually going four. Because it's pretty close. Because it tastes like a vanilla chocolate cake. Like, it, like that's exactly what you think of an ice cream as far as like vanilla chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. It's just this vanilla chocolate cake is terrible. Yeah. But what I remember zebra cake tastes like for real, this is close to it. So I give it a four. I'm going two as well on flavor and yeah, I give about four or five. Yeah. It matches it. The ice cream is definitely better than the cake for sure. Okay, for me, I'm going to go honey bun. Oh, did we didn't do the Nutty Betty? We already did the Nutty Buddy on TikTok. If you want to see us try the Nutty Buddy, go follow us on TikTok.
My name is Keith underscore Lee 125. Yes. Yes. Because we don't have an actual nutty buddy to compare it to. So we just did that specifically for TikTok. So go follow us on TikTok. Okay. So not including nutty buddies. I'm going to go honey bun. You can include the nutty buddies. Include the nutty buddies? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I'm going to go honey bun. Nutty buddy. Nutty buddy. OCP. Oh, no, no. I lied. Psych. I lied. The Swiss rolls were fine. And then here and here. Mm. I think I'm going to switch up the order for me. And I'm going to go Nutty Buddy, Swiss roll, uh, OCP. You're wrong. And then, yeah. Are you crazy? Regular yeah. vanilla over the, the one that tastes like coffee? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm I'm very satisfied with that. What are you getting out of that? I'm more of a basic vanilla kind of guy. I would anyway. at least do this for me. For me, for me. No, but this ain't what Ronnie want for you. That's what Keith want for you. Just for me to be, to go to sleep that night. <laughs> you already picked your order. Okay, fine. That's my order. Well, with that being said, make sure y'all go get the Lil Davies ice cream. I got it from Walmart, but I'm almost positive by the time you see this video, your Walmart is either sold out or they restocking. So if... You see this video and you want to try it, I will go get it right now and not be like, oh, I'm going to go get it next week. It ain't going to be here next week. Yes, especially the snacks because surprisingly, the cakes are the here. thing that are selling out more than the ice cream. Like, And if anybody want uh, um, some zebra cakes or some honey buns, make sure you go follow us on TikTok and we're going to be doing a giveaway. <laughs> we're going to send you some zebra cakes and some uh, Swiss rolls. But as always, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Have an amazing day. Peace out, Lee family.